Hi my friends, I'm Maxime. Today we're doing a car a day, the Wild on Ontario deck, and the car of today is the Moon Car. Yes, the Moon Car number 18 is very interesting. And what I was noticing in this car and the Tower Car is that some of the colors are in the border. And these, as you can see, the blue over here and the green and the yellow and some orange and maybe red in there. And then over here in the tower, these are the, the only cars that I have noticed that. Maybe because there's a lot of black and white and a little bit of yellow, they wanna add some symbolism by adding the colors and the borders. So here we have the red, the orange and the yellow, and it goes together with the, the car being uh, sort of like when things happen, they happen unexpected. So maybe it's shocking and painful, and that's why I believe it's the red in here, or that has something to do with that. And then the moon, you know, for me, the green over here is the, you know, it, the moon car always talks about cycles, you know, because the moon faces. So in those feminine aspects of the cycles, too. So for me, the green is telling, you know, you know, the cycles are natural. You know, they happen in nature, they happen in humans, they happen all the time, everywhere. So cycles are natural. They're connected, they're related to the moon, and the moon represents a lot of feminine um, attributions, you know, and one of them is, that's why I believe this is the blue over here, the blue because the moon also talks about the subconscious the intuition that creative aspect of discerning and understanding symbols right because with dreams come dreams work and in the dreams we see the symbols and also in that nature too you know we see the symbols we understand the symbols and that's why we some of the people that we like to look at the symbols in nature or in dreams, later on we're drawn to tarot because it's sort of like the same work, you know, the same type of work we're trying to discern, um, understand what the symbols mean. And we do it with our dreams, we do it with nature, then we we have to do the same work with, with um, you know, the cards of tarot, of course, using our intuition or uh, our own, you know, subconsciousness, subconsciousness, I'm sorry, uh, and understanding all of those things. So here I have uh, some of my dream journals, and uh, this one. There was a time that I was doing dream work every day, you know, or every, you know, four months in a time, so I will get a journal, I will put it by my bed, and, uh, I will work on the dream symbols. And this is a really great activity. A lot of people that do tarot or want to do better in tarot do dream work. And I highly recommend it. If you want to do it, you just put a notebook, uh, whatever, you know, something to write beside your bed. And, you know, the recommendation is uh, to stay in bed and then to try to rise something. You know, before you get up and do an activity, try to do it as soon as you wake up. That is the recommendation. And uh, in some of them, so some of, uh, I usually put the date. You know, sometimes I do it afterwards or I do it before. And some of them, you know, I may write and I may write uh, in Spanish, some of them I may write in English because that is just who I am. But anyway, uh, when you write your dreams, my friends, you know, you just sort of like when you wake up, you just you just write, right? That's why my writing is all over the place because I'm doing it, you know, with very little light or, you know, just waking up. I don't even notice or pay attention of the writing. But then later on, I go and I try to look at the symbols. What do they mean? about the colors, what do they mean? You know, everything you do in tarot, you do it with your dreams. So the dreams are trying to speak to you and you try to remember, you know, um, try to remember what is, um, 
what were you feeling in the dream and what do you feel after the dream? That's a good clue too. How do you feel in the dream and what do you feel after? And then what kind of colors, things that you saw and what do they mean? So that will be, you know, a great way to start. Of course, they have a lot of websites where they show you how to do dream work, but this is just a good way to start. It's just to put a notebook in the side of your bed and to start writing what you dream and then later on, you know, you find information. For me, you know, nobody can really tell you what your dream means. It's more about, you know, try to find the symbols and what they mean to you. So it takes a little bit of practice, but it's good to have books and to go to websites and checks the general idea. Per se, I dreamed that I was in the bathroom. And so then if I find a book about dreams, I don't want the book to tell me specifically what I was doing there or what that means, but tell me the general idea about the bathroom. So what do you do in the bathroom? You clean your yourself, you let go of things that you don't need, you know, you, you sort of like, uh, it's the cleaning aspect. So my dream was related to something that I need to clean or let go, right? So that's how you view the concept that you may find in a book or in, in, in the websites. You know, you will try to get the general idea and then look at your situation and try to find the meaning in your situation. So that's a good way to start with dream work, but we can do that all day. So anyway, going back to the to the card of today. The card of today is the moon. And the moon, you know, has to do, like I said, with dream work, with feminine, uh, the cycle feminines and all of that. So uh, this is what is the moon been for me. So every time I see it, you know, I look at situations where I cannot see clearly and I need to look at the symbols. But if it's a practical question, it's the same thing. You know, I'm not able to see clearly. So I'm not, not able to make a decision right now because I'm not looking clearly at the situation. I need to really pay attention to details and, 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 and you know, spend some time in thinking, discerning what's going on. So that will be my position in a practical reading with this um uh, if it's, you know, with this card. So now let's read a little bit about the, in the guidebook and the guidebook um, over here. The moon, vivid dreams. So see, it's related to dreams and symbols and also fears and anxieties. Because what happened with the cycles, we sometimes have hormonal uh, cycles too. So in many ways, the moon card encompasses, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, the idea of the wild unknown, things that we cannot see clearly. It is a shadow realm. So yes, it's a speaking, in the dream work, that's what it is, right? We dream many times about what we're afraid of, what our, or anxieties are, what our worries are, you know, they go to the unconscious, unconscious, and then at night, they come out, and they scare us a little, right, but they're trying to help us, they're trying to let us, uh, let those fears come up, so we can understand where they're coming from, and we can see things clearly then, be more objective about what's happening in our lives, so that's how important this card is, my friends, so anyway, the shadow, it is the place where dreams Dreams, fears, and mystery are born. Much darkness can linger here, and if you are careful, this can lead to periods of anxiety and self-doubt. So almost, but then also, you know, it, it, it is a reflective sort of energy. Many great artists have run this inner landscape. So the creativity, the intuition is also here. So this car is, is it can be confusing, you know, because it's not all negative. And it's not all good. You know, it, it is a huge uh, sort of like a spectrum of things. So you really need to look at the other cards and at the question to see, you know, so maybe the general idea is that you can see clearly right now, but then the Another idea can be that you are working with shadow work, with dream work, that you are using your creativity or that you are going through emotional or, you know, womanhood cycles, you know, changes in life. So, so that's uh, how it goes. So anyway, this card is very important. We find it in our reading. Try to look at the other cards and what the question specifically is. So thank you so much. And this card invites me always to do more dream work. I really, really like it. Thank you for watching, my friends, and um, 
Well, thank you for being here with me. Bye-bye.